Now, I've been told Seppo is a racist term, but to me, it's just Aussie Cockney rhyming slang for yank, septic tank, much like frog and toad means road. But although I never meant, to in, meant any insult or to insult any Americans, maybe I did cause huge offence by using that term. Is that right or is that wrong? We're going to discuss that some other time, maybe on our new Outsider's Guide, which you can see every Friday night at 8pm. And thank you for all your terrific feedback on last Friday's show. Race and racism is one of the hardest topics to talk honestly about in Australia these days. I have abhorred racism ever since I was a little child. Indeed, my parents attended the Martin Luther King March in Washington, where he delivered his famous speech about all people being created equal and how we must judge each other by their character and not by the colour of our skin. A principle which my parents drilled into me from childhood. It's a lesson that seems to have been lost thanks to the tireless efforts of the modern socialist left to once again segregate us all by race. Public service announcement. Excuse me. If y'all didn't know, this is the MSC. And frankly, there's just too many white people in here and this is a space for people of color. So just be really cognizant of the space that you're taking up because it does make some of us POCs uncomfortable when we see too many white people in here. That's modern America. Martin Luther King must be spinning in his grave. As a boy on a visit to Germany, my parents took me to view the horrors of the Museum and Memorial Centre at Dachau, where Jews were slaughtered by the Nazi butchers. Yet now in Europe, anti-Semitism is again on the rise. Yes, the evil of racism is on the increase across much of the world, fueled by a toxic mixture of Islamic and left-wing anti-Semitism and the sickening perversion of identity politics, the neo-Marxist dogma designed to ferment anger, hatred and violence against white people in the name of supposedly fighting colonial oppression. Repulsive. And it festers like a poisonous sludge throughout our universities in particular. But here's the kicker. The left, the same people who have done so much damage and harm to our national well-being, are the very same people who, at the drop of a hat, accuse others of racism if those people dare make any criticism of anyone who is not white, even when that criticism may be valid or indeed necessary. To be labelled a racist is a vile slur and a deeply offensive insult, yet it is tossed about by the left with abandon and with relish. And in doing so, they cheapen the real meaning of racism. Studies show we in Australia are one of the world's most racially tolerant countries and that well over 95% of Australians don't have a racist bone in their bodies. We wish well for others and we are happy to lend a helping hand to those who through no fault of their own are down on their luck. Mainstream Australians can enjoy the benefits of a multiracial society, but can also be aware of potential problems or flashpoints between differing cultural mores, habits and beliefs that cause so many problems around the rest of the world. That is not racism. We have superbly integrated our indigenous past, our colonial foundation blocks and our extraordinary immigration success stories to create a great, vibrant nation. Yet political correctness constantly seeks to poison that well of goodwill by tirelessly denigrating our past and worst, worse, silencing us if we dare make any criticism that can be labelled racist. This is unhealthy and dangerous. If we and our children are all to share in the prosperity and opportunities available in this great land, we cannot afford to shy away from honest but heartfelt criticism. For too long, the genuine well-being of Indigenous Australians has been viewed entirely through the lens of historic wrongdoings, colonialism, oppression and accusations of racism. And the myriad failures have been hidden behind bureaucratic jargon, political virtue signalling and all of it overshadowed by this chronic fear of the label racist. We will never tackle Indigenous disadvantage if we are too terrified to be honest in our appraisals. <laughs> 